another thing I will tell you, um, as far as efficiency goes, or I would say, I should say, as far as productivity goes, um, as much as you can do at the house, right? Importing and labeling photos at, at the house. I do everything. I don't, I don't jump in the car and drive down the block. I stay at the house because the homeowner has a question or if they find something else, I don't want to have to go back, right? I don't know if, if that's as big of an issue with you, the way you're, you're set up. But the, for, for me, it was, I wanted to be there, you know, when they, I asked them three times if they had any damage to the inside of the house. They said, no, we didn't see anything. And then I'm sitting out there in the truck and somebody comes over and taps on the window and, hey, you know what? We, I, don't, I know we told you we didn't find any interior damage, um, but we actually looked in a linen closet upstairs and it was a big water spot right on the ceiling. And it's right underneath a roof mm. vent or whatever. Yeah. And so I jump out and grab a photo of that and add it to my estimate. And maybe it kicks me into the next tier on the fee schedule. But I don't have to go right. back and I don't have to play phone tag and I don't have to do all that crap. Um, but one thing I will tell you from a productivity standpoint that I've discovered, and this goes like even now with adjuster TV stuff, like editing video or writing scripts or whatever, and that is, is that I have to be in a place um, where the only thing that I can do is work, right? Mm-hmm. At the very beginning of my career, we had, and it's, you know, and on hurricanes today, they have help rooms and, you know, we had like claim centers, right? So you'd go work for a state farm storm and they had a huge building full of dudes and chicks and red shirts and khaki pants, right? And you could go in there and your managers were in there and everything. I would go to the to the claims center and just find an empty cubicle and make phone calls. Because if I did it in my hotel room um, or at home or my RV or whatever, I was going to dilly-dally. TV might be on in the background. I was going to like, oh, maybe I'm hungry. I'll just take a break. And I've only done two calls. I'm going to take a break and have lunch, you know, that kind of thing. But if I'm yep. at the office, I can't you know, watch YouTube videos. I can't watch a movie. I can't read a book. I can't, you know, mess around on the internet. I have to work. I can't, because people are there. Like they might walk by and be like, what's this dude watching like Die Hard in the middle of the day at those claims (laughs) office, right? I can't do that. Again, Right. So, you know, if, if there's no claims office, I'm going straight to the coffee shop and I'm going to sit there because again, you know, some weirdo sitting there watching a movie at the, you know, at the coffee shop, just, just go there and do the work. Right. So I would, especially when I was doing daily claims a lot and I couldn't, some claims I couldn't close on site or I ran out of time and I had to go to my next one. At the end of the day, before going back to the RV or back to the hotel where my wife was and the dog and every you know dinner and all that this kind of stuff, I would go to Starbucks or to Pete's or whatever, and just sit there and just like just pull my files out, set them on the table, and just get to work. And just and the sun's going down out there. I don't care. I want to get all this stuff done, all these this work done, and then you know I can see him like getting ready to close up the coffee shop at nine or whatever it is and wrap everything up and go back to the, the hotel or the whatever home. And mm. even even now, like I said, I mean, like I'll go to the coffee shop before I, cause it's hard to work in here because there's nobody in here. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll just watch, you know, there's a video I really wanted to watch about backpacking or skiing or something like that. And then two hours later, it's like you'd fall down this like rabbit hole. 
If I yep. if I'm sitting there at the coffee shop, I I feel weird, self conscious about doing that. I mean, so I just work right. So it, it makes it easy to have no distractions, even though it's full of people and you're like, you know, you, you people like you like to people watch, right? I mean, um, it's still really easy for me. That I found to focus at those kinds of at away from home away from the hotel room, away from any familiar area, especially if there's like sort of like this implied um, sort of uh, accountability around you with people that could like possibly look over your shoulder and see that you're, you know, you're, you're just jacking around on the internet. Right. Um, right. That one thing uh, made me way more productive because I'm like, I know I can get these done. If if I didn't have any distractions and there was nothing, I was forced to do it, I could do it super pretty fast, right? Let's go to a coffee shop before I go home and work. I'm not going to set up some elaborate office at the house, have a bunch of screens up or whatever in my RV or whatever. Even though you can, those can make you productive, they can also be like extremely distracting, right? Well, maybe I'll play a video game on this screen. You know, right. that's a, that's a big one. That was a really big one. When I figured that one out, I was like, oh man, that's a, that's kind of a game changer because the, the sensation, like the feeling of being like really productive and just, you're just zoned in on this working stuff and just getting it done. is so different from like, ah, just dragging your feet and just like, you know, it's like the cart in front of the horse kind of a thing. You just, you know, you can't, you just feel like it's, it's just a drudgery, right? Whereas, you know, you just get really focused and you just, you put your game face on and get after it. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house on video? What about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is Symbility and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims adjusting videos showing how it's done. What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride-along. Speaking of ride-alongs, click here to get right along to the next video because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see, ride along, get it right. Just move right along versus ride along. It's right along, get right along to it.